Welcome back to another part of Final Fantasy 3. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into it. Today we are back at Castle Sassoon. The very, very first castle in this game. And we are running all the way up here to the Queen. Of Sassoon. That apparently needs help with her pendant. So let's get it. Let's get it. So here's the queen. Princess Sara. Ingus, you've came. This is the pendant I told you about in my mail. It's very important to me. Uh, do you know anyone who could fix it? Leave it to me, milady. I shall not rest until this pendant is whole once again and back in your hands. Thank you. I knew you would come. I could count on you. Obtain Sarah's pendant. <laughs> you bitch. Now I'm out of here. Let's steal her pendant. <laughs> You'll never get it back now. I'm a eat speech. Right? <laughs> I'm just joking though. Thank you, Sir Ingus. Uh, I will look forward. Uh, I will look after Lady Sarah until you return. Uh, trust me, she will look after you. She is stronger than she looks. That, uh, that princess was pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's get, be get back into our ship, and then we're gonna check if uh, one of our parents can actually fix it. I forgot his name, but we come over here. The Invincibility. And into this town right here. What is the name though? Kazus. Kazus. So we run to his father, her father, I don't know, her father maybe. His name is Taka. Back so soon? Is your journey done or is there something I can do for you? Uh, the princess of Castle Sassoon gave us a pendant. It's broken. Can you fix it, father? Let me see now. Hmm. I have no idea uh, what this is made of. I've never seen anything like it. Making mithril rams is one thing. But this? No, sorry. I can't help you. Okay, I guess I'll have to find someone else. Okay, so he can't do it. That sucks, though. But it's okay. We will just continue on with our journey of doom. So get back onto our ship. And then we're gonna go to one of the locations that is decently close by. Uh, that we couldn't do with the other ship we had. It's right here at the bottom. We saw the entrance there. Oh, here we go. Here it is. So just get off here and enter. Do we need any healing? Um, yes, we, we did take some little damage. Minor though, but nonetheless, let's just prepare for what's coming. want to save here. I should save always when there's no music, though. Slept like a log. As always. Because apparently logs are sleeping. They No, they're not dead. They're sleeping. <laughs> okay, bah Bahamut's Lair. Bahamut's li Lair? No, nothing there. But there is enemies, though. 
preemptive strike at least. Uh, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Let's just see if everyone's doing the right stuff. Provoke. Item, lightning rod, yes. Terrain and attack, okay. Well, that smiley face has just appeared. That's Gucci. We took no damage from that. Three directions to go, but the right side seems to be broken. <laughs> Wind. Phoenix down. No, we're gonna fight on a broken ladder? You crazy? Holy. Can we do this already, man? Earthquake! Wow. Okay. Clearly we can. Or gain a level. Hmm. Our ninja is getting stronger. Oh man. Again. They're like, no, I want my revenge. Oh, the cave was on a single target. Yes, should be dead. No! They don't do that much damage, actually. We're okay. Job level increased. Heavenly Wrath. Earth Drums. Mm. I guess Earth Drums will just be like summoning an Earthquake, for example. Which is not bad, to be honest. Uh, let's just see here, High Potion. Uh, let's just make sure everyone's full HP. Yeah, it's okay. That's a dead end. Bro, they love these enemies, man. They keep fighting us. I'm sure this is not the only enemies there is, though. In this place. So it seems that Ingus is just not dealing enough damage to one-shot them. So they have, like, maybe 4,000 HP... Maybe a bit less, four, three and a half, ish, and she's doing a three point two. Golem staff. Hmm. We have one already, I think. Yeah. The cast break. I still don't know what break does. Uh, I did try it last time. It just doesn't hit. I think we tried it twice. I would rather get something that does less damage, but always proc, so that makes sense. Nice. I don't know if a ninja is weaker in the back row. I potion received. Nice. Uh, white musk. Uh, what the heck is this? I don't even know how to say the word. Ba Buck choose. Buck choose cider. Is it? Is it a drink? Increases attack speed. Hmm. Alrighty then. Oh, finally different enemies though. I don't know if I should be scared or happy. What a strange feeling we have here.
zero damage. What? The, dude, they did like no damage to us. We got a golden needle from that, but I think we have all the nines in the world to get it. Again, another wrath. Open the chest, my goodness. A turtle shell? I think that's a armor, uh, sorry, a shield, right? Protective spell, cause protect. Hmm. Eritus bow. Phoenix down. Elixir. Uh, Kat Katets Katetsu. I think we have a better sword already. Oh. Are you strong enough to defeat me? Uh... My character just ran in there. I would like to save, though. But I'm scared to save now. What just happened? Oh, it's the dragon from the start! Look at this! Nice. So, uh... Provoke... Um... I think we'll just pre-pre-heal, right? Heal, terrain, and attack. A provoke must. So the pre-heal was what well, somewhat of a waste, not not one hundred percent. Uh provoke mist again. Oh. That is so weird. He does 500 damage to a cloth user and then zero damage to him. Look at that. To provoke hits, it's three rounds, man. Again, missing. Mega flame. Okay, stop. Oh. Provoke. Magic. Full heal, everyone. Okay, finally pro uh, provoke it. Nice. And look at this heal, dude. It's gonna be insane. Oh, everyone's full health, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even see how much it healed, but my goodness. My ninja died. Dude, it's so unfair that he does so much damage to one shot one of my characters. It's really unfair. That's There's no other way to put it. So, provoke has to happen. And cure has to happen. So you will use an item. You'll use antidote. Oh, sorry, uh, phoenix down. Where the hell is the phoenix down? There we go. Why do I only have 25 of them, dude? Provoke worked.
Mega Flame, dead again. This time, two is dead. Guard. Provoke. Provoke again. I guess we'll raise. It missed. That's the sound of it sucking. Do you enjoy that sound? Yeah, I'm gonna come back to the dragon because it didn't save at all. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm at it back here. So, uh, let's see how it's gonna go this time. Uh, let's, uh, change our formation. Like this. Uh, no. Like, like this. Um, apparently ninjas deal more damage if they're in the front row with melee weapons. Uh, didn't know that, so we'll put the ninja in front. Um, everyone's fully healed. Fully healed, everyone. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna save here just for in case. Uh, let's go. Let's see how it's gonna be. I literally gave a centimeter of a step, not even. Are you strong enough to beat me? Okay, take two. Let's see how it's gonna go this time. Hopefully this is gonna go better. Please, let it be better. Okay. Okay, let's just make sure everyone's doing what they need to. Provoke. Uh, you'll just... You'll just uh, cast Cure on your team. And then attack. So they do, what, like 300 more damage? It's not great. Come on, provoke hit. There we go. Oh, dude, he's dead. Oh, he's so close to being dead. That was 10k damage. He should be dead now. Five and a half thousand damage. Whoa, he's still not dead? No. No, dude. Look, everyone's full health. Okay. Provoke. Magic. Big heal. It missed. We got him. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> 16,000 gil, 5,000 XP. Job level increases from the two people. That's the lowest. Nice. We obtained a summoning spell by Himur. I don't know if I want a summoner, to be honest. I actually like, I still like the Geomancer. I know it's super RNG, but like, I'm, ooh, we should heal for sure. Let's just uh, cast a big heal. Oh, everyone's full health. Um, just, uh, no, don't guard. I uh, use item lightning rod. So I didn't know that ninjas do more damage into the front row. Unfortunately, I didn't know that. But now we do, and the damage is pretty good. But they will also take more damage because they're on the front row from physical damage.
And we should be okay with that, though. As long as Provoke does its job. Uh, which only will be stronger the higher... Uh, the higher job level this guy becomes. Which will be good, I think. I'm not sure anymore. I mean, Provoke on regular ads is not going to help us. And for the ninjas, still not to one-shot stuff when they're full health. That, to me, is questionable. It's gonna kill it now, because they'll rot it. But I think as the job level goes up, the better the stats will become, I think. Because I think the stats rely a lot on your job level. And I think your job level has to be, like, roughly about 14-ish to be, like, okay when uh, in stats. And I think that's why another reason why I don't want to switch out the Geomancer. Because, look at that. Now, Summoner could have done that also, but, like, it would have cost mana, right? I think. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if Summoners actually uses mana. They could, I think. Okay, so this is done. Can't believe it. Uh, we'll sleep before the next real big fight, though. Okay, so right now we just have to get out of this continent. Any way possible. And we're gonna fly around it. We're gonna fly north because that's... Well... Uh, wrong button. We could fly south also. Just double checking. Uh, south still might be a little bit faster. So we'll fly south from here. Until we get to the very, very big, uh, the big area. My goodness, dude, these mountains. They are, they are the final boss, these mountains, I swear. Okay, we made it. We're here. And I think this is the location we need to be. If I'm not mistaken. The top left, I think. Then there should be... Um... Well, we can get into the library now. We've never been in here before. Great library, Sarina. Sarunia? There we go. There might be some secrets. I mean... There's one. Uh, airsh uh, airship in action. Our editors pick, uh, pick the three most sensational, spectacular airships of the year. First, the diving Nautilus. Second, the Col Colossal Invincible. Third, the Indomi. Indomi. There we go. The Indomitable Enterprise. Uh, engineer Theory. Per a part, perpetual en uh, engine theory. Uh, the governing principle behind the wheel of time is based on the tempor temporal balance of antimeter. Where of the Dark Blade, the mountains west of Saronia hold the three secrets, or the three secrets to weigh the Dark Blade. Ancient Book Part 1. Uh, the four giant statues will burn anyone who dares to pass between them. Uh, the four fangs that, pa that we possess 
are the only thing that can grant us safe passage. Ancient Book Part 2. Light and darkness are kept in balance by the crystals of wind, fire, and earth. Ancient Book 3. Have we ab uh, ab abused the power of light? Um, the light is everywhere, overwhelming. There is no way for us to stop it. And the inevitable outcome, doom. Ancient Book Part 4. The four warriors uh, who came from the world of darkness have stopped the rampaging light. Who are they? How did they come to possess their powers? The only thing we know is that their bravery saved the world from destruction. Book of Owen 2. My current project is cryo cryostasis, freezing objects for long-term uh, convention uh, conservation uh, poetically put an object in crystallization crystal cry cryostasis uh, could be said to be free from the flow of time in theory this could also be applicable to live living things or living beings owen one after many years it is finally complete. The device uh, will enable us to lift control objects of immense size and mass. If my calculations are correct, it could even control the very planet that we live on. Wow. Book of Owen 3. Everything is ready. I will now leave Seronia and depart for the experience, uh, experiment site. I will take my son, Desh, or already an accomplished scientist himself with me. Okay. Okay. But where's Desh now? Hmm? Swimming in lava still, most probably. So I don't know where this... Um, where this forager is, though. We're looking for a woman. It's not her, though. It is the legendary craftsman, I think. So we'll go, we'll go here as well. We're gonna try and find her before we end the episode, though. Uh, it's definitely not this place, right? It doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, it's... 85% sure it's not here. I think she was standing on grass. Though. So. I'm gonna leave that ship there for now. It's gonna take longer to climb in it. We're anyway gonna take the other ship um, to travel from here on out. Once I find her, it would be great. It's definitely not here either. Is this a different location though? Could be. Uh, no, nope. it's the same location. <laughs> so that whole square is one building. This whole square of all these houses is literally one building. That is insane. Now, I don't know where she is. To be quite frank, I don't even know how she looks like. So I might need to do a little bit more research about it though. Uh, let me just check up quickly. Okay, it seems to be... Uh, top left side actually. I... I was there. I was there first. 
Maybe I just ran past her. Whoa, there's enemies here. What? Okay. Now that's a lot of damage. That ninja was like, I had enough of you, bro. Okay. Manzi wants to end the episode. Let me just slap your senseless. Okay, don't bother him again. <laughs> okay, so... Maybe it's here. What? There she is. There she is. Finally, we found her. I am a smith traveling the world search, uh, in, in search of a legendary metal. Ingers. You are the master smith, are you not? I have a favor to ask you. This pendant, can you fix it? It belongs to someone very dear to me. I will do anything you ask. If you can restore it it's, uh, uh, to its pre previous state. Hmm. I wouldn't I, I I wouldn't do this normally, but I like the look in your eyes. Let me see this pendant of yours. And she's throwing spanners around and is magically fixed, I guess. There, it's all fixed. I'm telling Sarah's pendant. Should have said restored pendant, I guess. Thank you. By the way, where's the anvil from? <laughs> Wait, how did she fix it? Does it look like she's carrying any tools on her? Thank you. <laughs> I do not have much. But what amount of gill would be sufficient for your work? Money doesn't interest me. There is one item, however, that I would like you to, to find for, for me. What may that be? Have you ever heard of... Ori... Oricha Lukum? Uh, it is a metal of legend, fabled to have mystical properties. If you find it, uh, if you find any on your tr in your travels, uh, bring it to me. Don't worry, I will. Uh, I only want to try my hand at attempting it. Whatever I manage to craft the metal into will be yours. What do you say? Sounds more than fair. Any. Orchi la come <laughs> we find will be yours. The challenge. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you with people in the very next video. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>